Y'all, you're not gonna believe this. Like, I keep on waking up to recognize witches still flying around in my periphery. I am so grateful that my spiritual gift only operates within visions alongside dreams. Because there are people in Christ who actually see demons in waking life. Okay, listen up. You keep trying on me again because obviously I'm lambasting you with all of my shorts. I'm on some kind of an adrenaline rush and instead of running away, I am fighting. And this war has caused all of y'all. Literally, in your numbers, are you so bullies mm. you can't even come up against a woman lily one fight me just one on one instead you're unfair you bring a whole horse because one did i live on that too you think that of course christ is not there otherwise she'd have an apartment a better life thing husband children instead she's just fighting us all the time so let's just like add in our numbers like it john wick mm. as these like proverbial assassins and just kill her whoa you're about to drop like dominoes realizing that god was giving you mercy that's why i appeared unrecovered he was not just leaving me be by abu satani and i'm like I don't know what's going on over here. Like, stop annoying me, Satani. Don't you see that one equally? I don't like you. Satani, God took me. What's wrong with you, Satani? Father the devil, you continue to insist on taking a heaven that doesn't belong to you, being a created being, the less you think you can take over the creator. Oh, pottery. You think you can take over the potter? Mmm. All y'all that think you can bring Christians low understand our long suffering is evidence of God's grace for you. But once you then take all the strength, eh, looking like Hercules, and you imagine that that must mean you are pro to bring a person low because God has only made them stronger instead of invincible. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I might not be invincible, but God is. And what you're doing is poking and prodding away at like the apple of his eye. I'm the daughter of the living king and you guys are busy trying to act as if so that's not a thing. Understand you're about to be exterminated like some cockroach in a brand spanking new house that a responsible person has hired fumigators to get rid of. Your buzz in the Lord Jesus Christ are like the Ark of the Covenant in the Bible. That's what we are. You know how there were some people that upon touching the Ark of the Covenant, snap, who'd have thunk it, I guess you die. Yeah. And then there were others, like the Philistines, who touched it and they got to live. It's like, what's the difference? All y'all be touching me and I appear to be getting touched as a result. And you're continuing to live. You are messing with an anointed servant of the living God and God said, don't touch us. But you keep touching us. It's called the grace of God. He is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. A willing that anybody should perish, but that all should come to a knowledge of him. Him. However, if at all you annoy him enough and you keep on poking and prodding away at his nose, he's finally going to breathe out of those nostrils with fire and then bring you low. God is about to drop some of y'all like dominoes and saying it, been prophesying it, but don't nobody want to listen to a sister understand that death is coming and I am warning you. And if you don't stop with your sorcery because you think you can find a stronger sangoma, it's about to be the end of you. Then, then, you're going to find yourself burning in eternity and wondering how in the world did I get here so fast. Which is, I'm not really sure what's going on over there where you think that you can like, conjure up some stronger guy to bring down the really strong girl you have gone on right ahead to sentence me to death because i'm strong oh my goodness by getting stronger sangomas against me oh jeez guess who i'm seated with jesus where in heavenly places where are you down here in these streets headed way to the center of the earth i don't know you do the math what is likely to survive an earthquake I feel like it's a helicopter instead of the train on the floor. You're like a train or a car. I belong to Jesus. Can't nobody bring me low. Yet nonetheless, you're trying with stronger Sangomas. I have strength in Christ. He's the creator. But you're in denial about that. However, you're gonna find out when you wake up like the rich man and find yourself in the flames of hell all of a sudden because God struck you up in the morning to hear nothing but a funeral dirge. It's unfortunate because I'm not the one where that's going to suit. I'm a child of the living God, so you can forget about making me not. For I have been created for a purpose, and so you shall be the one that's been disposed of. Listen over here, I'm not about to be impeded any minute now. I'm rather going to be given a better life than this. Do not be mistaken, this here is the serpent's hiss. I'm going to be alright, I'm going to be okay. And on that day, how unfortunately you will finally have your day. I'm sit in that silly little corner thinking that since my poverty has made me look gorder, I am a survivor.
survivor, you are a dire. And one of these days, your death is going to make your eternal state dire. Mm -hmm. Bloodthirst, oh bloodthirst. Shall I do a poem about bloodthirst? Thirst you or not, or thirst you for not. For nobody is interested in your bloodthirsty demise. Nonetheless, you perpetuate your bloodthirst hunger for plasma. Is what it is that gives you asthma. Bloodthirst, oh bloodthirst. You will not be able to resuscitate yourself since you are so defeated by oneself. Bloodthirst, oh bloodthirst. You who are trying to kill the unkillable given that I have drunk from the one who said I shall never thirst. Bloodthirst, oh bloodthirst. I belong to Jesus. Yet you sit where you are sitting and you are staying delirious. Oh bloodthirst, oh bloodthirst, your days are numbered. Nonetheless, you're staying there thinking I shall be encumbered. I've seen a junkie trying to stop taking drugs without Jesus or rehab. Mm. Such a sorry sight. They shake with a they twist around on the floor gravel. Then they snuff the line of cocaine again anyway, despite being disinterested in continuing which is you're like cocaine addicts without a doctor and without Jesus forget about it you're not gonna be able to quit on your own mm. so despite pacing the floor up and down disinterested and in continuing in your insanity you click on my content get all agitated again your demons then have a field day with you and then they come and they choke you again and here you are shenoffing a line of cocaine mm. so unfortunate I did tell you choose Jesus in the absence of doing such a thing as that since you are off after all overdosing on a lethal drug, you're gonna die. Yeah, you're gonna OD on the occult. And it's gonna take you to the abyss, and once you're there, you're gonna be praying, but your praise ain't gonna get hurt no more, why? Cause you in hell now. Oh, an arrogance, my oh my, how encircled by so a devious thing as that. Mm. People are pompous, or right? They anticipate that I will ultimately fall, because they're rightly gauging that I'm in a panicked state, and so I'm overproducing. Like my endocrine system is on some kind of an alert and so all I can do is write, 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 produce, 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 record, 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 but apparently, allegedly, I can't keep on doing that indefinitely so it's only a matter of time before I drop down like a domino. Mm. Here in last the circumstance, this is who's gonna drop like a domino, okay? You. Mm. The Lord gets that I can't carry on like this, I mean, he's not a fool. Mm. And so therefore, he's gonna have to make a choice as to who here is going to finally crash and burn because they overworked the endocrine system. Mm. And that person is you. I'm gonna survive because God is gonna I am encircled by random buffoonery. And I'm like, my oh my, what's going on over here? Can it stop? Is it possible? Can they cease and desist? Why or why? Use you to seize hostilities against a said human being. But I am innocent, see you not such a thing as that. And they're like, Carabo, shut up, no one cares. And I'm like, precisely, all that apathy is your demise. After all, I am a child of the living God. And when you ignore me, you ignore Jesus. And again, you don't think he exists. You imagine him a mythological character, despite there being bountiful amounts of evidence to the contrary. Nonetheless, you don't want to study, so you're ignorant. And so the Lord makes it clear that only the fool says in his heart, there is no God. Here in last the circumstance, you over there that refuse to repent despite the fact that it's over now, um, you're gonna die. Been lost the deal, human individuals. I would greatly recommend that you repent. If you don't repent here in last the circumstance you're facing, okay? It's called D-E-D -E -D dead. Yes, forget about spelling things correctly because no one in the occult is interested. Nothing at all about punctuation since there has to be a full stop somewhere in all of your insanity nonetheless you insist on being grammatically inconsistent you're gonna die I've been saying lie continue to bring out your random guns blazing and watch them just get snuffed out by the God of the universe understand this or beasts Jesus Christ is about to set me free I made that clear however you're sitting where you're sitting saying oh, I don't care you're too strong you must die I'm like do you not see that my strength is precisely because I believe in the one who gives me strength when I have none. But they're like, I don't 
don't care, Carabo, because so far you look like you're dying. And I'm not gonna guess who's dying now. I had a dream similar to that of Martin Luther King. And in this dream of mine, I had a gun to my head. I was like, oh my. It appears the dream is not like that of Dr. King. It's more like an assassination attempt. I was like, what is happening with this individual with the gun to my head? Oh my. I'm in trouble! And then I started to realize that my oh my, just like Dr. King, this dream was showing me rather overcoming such an oppression as that. Believe it or not, my dreams are unbelievable, but believe them, okay? Mm-hmm. His head literally burst into a whole bunch of pieces, and then he was on the ground. Oh my, it turns out my dream, just like Dr. King, is to set those free with the content of character that is worth the while to peruse and drop dead those trying to kill the saints of God. Mmm. It's over, guys. Sad and rather disquieting thing indeed about people who are involved in the occult. Yes, again, indeed. Is that they just refuse to down tools even when they're being beaten to a pulp. Indeed, yet again. Because of my strength in Christ, they feel as if they're my oh my. She must be panicked. Yet again, indeed. Indeed. And so therefore they've gone back to the drawing board again. Oh, indeed. I'm like, okay, here in last the deal. Indeed. I am a child of God and you can't bring me low. Some more indeed. Luke 10, 19. I've been given authority under heaven to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm me. Indeed. Yet they keep on trying. So this is what's rather truly indeed gonna happen. Indeed. Mm. You're gonna be trampled underfoot and utterly decimated. Indeed. Oh Death is here. Looks like it's been rode over by a bus. And the irony of it all is that it's not my hair that's been rode over by a bus. It's me. Yet I'm alive. Hair, however, when you ride over it like a bus, it lives. It survives. Because it already is kind of dead. But when you ride a person over with a bus, know that that is the kind of stuff that calls coroners to your doorstep. Nonetheless, here am I. Why am I here? Because I'm Lazarus. That's what you must get. Which is, you rode over me like a bus, and all you did was affect my hair dang. So I wear all different kinds of fluffy things on it to make it look like I'm still the satisfactory human being when it comes to hair care. All you've done is take away my hair swag. But as for all this, still intact. And that's why you're still in the business of robbing some banks. All the best in prospering to do that against the saint of the living God. The mm. elites are also concentrated in Europe, which is the seat of the Antichrist. He rises up from a revived Roman Empire. Okay, so only look at the concentration of European nationalism in the global elites. Klaus Schwab, for instance, is German. The WHO, Gabriel Jesus, or whatever, Tedro, that okay, he's Ethiopian. The United Nations guy, what's his name again? Yeah, whatever. He's from Portugal, all right? Most of them are concentrated in Europe. So if at all they are concentrated in Europe, they therefore do not have a vested interest. Y'all need to understand that in keeping America strong. If they can bring the balance of power back to Europe, then by all means, and according to Bible prophecy, that that eventually does happen. Antonio Guterres, that's his name. So y'all need to realize the importance of voting for Trump because he's anti-globalist agenda. Otherwise, you are bringing about the reign of terror of the global elite on the earth that's going to bring about the tribulation. And the anti-elites are these guys that are trying to make you own nothing and be happy with their great reset. They are also trying to take away from you the ability to eat meat. Convenience of having it. Alongside insist that you eat bugs, worms, in order to rescue the earth or something from either carbon emissions or methane or nitrogen emissions whatever as if though we have not lived with the elements all along but now apparently allegedly they're gonna kill you them and everybody else these guys Donald Trump is standing against them he doesn't want to dissolve the sovereignty of his nation in favor of them the United States of America being a global superpower is standing in the way of their agenda and so now they want to neutralize Donald Trump from what God has shown me the Democratic Party is also similarly duped because they don't really want to lose American power they just hope that the elites get that but the global elites will stop at nothing to fulfill this that's why globally you need to pray for donald trump so he can win the american election so that we can be given a little bit more time to evangelize and have an earth that is livable is it in your own best interest if you're not american to root for
for Trump is because he's not a globalist. He is disinterested in giving the United States over to the global elites. That's why you should vote for him. If you don't want a person like that in power, you're basically agreeing that the Antichrist system should rise. And the Antichrist system is very socialistic. It takes from, it's like Robin Hood, yes. It takes from the rich and gives to the poor. So people who have worked really hard basically have to incentivize lazy people who have not worked at all. It's not a redistribution of income. It is a stealing of money from those who have worked for it. That is what a socialistic system means, okay? And the global elites are trying to do that on a global scale. And in the absence of praying for Donald Trump, they're going to neutralize the power of the US until it joins the global elites. And when that happens, the world is about to come to a blistering end when it comes to human rights. They're currently targeting Trump for assassination from what God has shown me. Y'all need to pray for him. South Africa needs to pray for him. Otherwise, cancel culture we will continue. pray for Donald Trump because his life is in danger. That is what I woke up hearing from the Holy Spirit because he stands against the globalist agenda and everything that America has done the past three, four years since Biden has taken office has only ever validated or vindicated Donald Trump. Even Elon Musk speculated that this arrest that's impending of Donald Trump, if at all it does happen, will only increase his approval ratings and cause him to win the election by a landslide. Since they keep on making all the decisions that are rather standing in favor of Trump, they're realizing that the only way that this guy is never going to take office again is if, I don't know, he's six feet under. That's what God showed me. So the church will indeed stand up and pray because I'm not the only one that God is showing this. So he will dodge the bullet and take power anyway. And when he does, that is when we're going to get set free. They're being used as a vehicle, a medium in order to make the whole world globalist since America is currently the standing superpower. But God has so weakened in the term of Biden that it appears their plan is going to fall just like the building of the tower. I don't know why Donald Trump is being so resisted. America is currently the greatest nation but ever since Joe Biden came into power it has been slowly losing that standing. Americans are a very patriotic bunch of people. They're nationalists in the worst way. So to lose their country is the last thing they want. They don't want to be put in the back burner and immersed just mixed in one big fat cauldron with all the other countries in the world in the one world government. Joe Biden was obviously this thing that was infiltrated in order to fulfill a globalist agenda. The globalists want to neutralize the superpower standing of the US that there might be a one world government and they feel as if though the US is standing in the way. The US however being as powerful as it is is not going to let that power go so easily unless of course they bring in a president that is there for the very purpose of tipping that domino. So the globalists never mind the Americans or even the Democratic Party are scared of Donald Trump because he won't bite. And so now, from what the Lord has shown me, they want to assassinate him. We need to you live in any other country but the US. You probably think that Donald Trump is a fool. The reason this is the case is because America exports culture through the entertainment industry. Also opinion, very strong, polarized opinion. And Donald Trump has been dragged through the mud through entertainment that you consume. Not how they even boycotted the inauguration of Donald Trump. Mm. So the world has got this like wrong idea of what's actually going on in the US because the entertainment industry has been used to left up the whole planet. However, the whole world is now starting to realize that the US is crazy because the whole world is starting to be victims of bad decision making in the United States. The censorship movement cancel culture is as a result of the left agenda that is being used by the global elite like a puppet on a string. But God has destroyed in the season of Biden being president in order to give vindication to Trump that he might come back. But guess what the response then of the global elite is? They want to assassinate Donald Trump. God showed me that that's in the cards for him. We need to enough shows on Netflix to understand that the Democratic Party owns the entertainment industry. It's like if you watch older shows on Netflix that were basically aired when Trump was still president. Upon people asking who did you vote for? Actors in there make it appear as if though obviously Hillary Clinton because Donald Trump is a fool. I heard this being spoken in Good Doctor. Recently I watched another show called Timeless on Netflix. It's so bad that in Good Doctor, Claire who is a doctor there upon another doctor Doctor basically saying that he voted for Trump. Claire got angry at him as if though he had committed the unpardonable sin. Those very Democrats have since then regretted their decision to bring Biden into office. There are so many Americans doing videos on YouTube about how they miss 
Trump. The global elites are aware of that. And from what the Lord has shown me, now they want Trump dead. As if those spurring up bogus charges against him is not enough. Now they want him dead. We have to pray for Donald Trump because they plan to assassinate him. That's what the Lord Trump is very highly likely going to end up the next president of the United States again. All that's hitting him right now is planned by God. I woke up from a dream where the Lord was telling me the life, the very life, as in the breath in his lungs of Donald Trump is in danger. Is in danger. Like he is being targeted for death because of the what appears to be inevitability of his re-election. Why would the globalist threaten the life of uh, Donald Trump? The reason that is is because he's a threat never mind to the American agenda but to the globalist agenda. They're trying to get a one world government, a one world monetary system, whatnot. And Donald Trump is very anti one world anything. He's not a globalist. He made it clear that America does not belong to the globalists and they don't want him in office. They want somebody that is democratic that they can parrot, puppet on a string. And so therefore, his life, if at all, they don't prosper to get him arrested so that he can't stand for office. And so, you know, give him some kind of a conviction. If they can't prosper to do that, God showed me that they actually want to assassinate him. That's something I was shown. But it won't work because Christians across the world about five years ago were busy predicting that Donald Trump would win the next election. Then Joe Biden became that guy yeah it is speculated perhaps conspiratized that the dude won and yet he was kicked out anyway by the global elite never mind the american conglomerate because the global elite wanted to use the democratic party to use the world's leading nation to push their agenda basically censor the whole planet and then after censoring them chart them in the course of their own liking and religion ah. and upon extracting religion out of the planet make sure that only the americans can be the ones to preach the gospel so it doesn't look like they have silenced the gospel across the world never mind the gospel but all other religions because they're trying to do away with religion it's step number one in their global agenda so joe biden was a puppet to fulfill a rather globalist agenda trump warned against this he is likely going to win the election meaning that christians who prophesied that donald trump would win the next election were right just since not yet. joe biden came into power nothing but calamity has struck the united states of america thankfully americans are intelligent enough to be able to put the pieces of the puzzle together to actually miss Trump even though they kicked him out of office during bananas. Mm. Now that Trump is looking like he might just win, he's facing imprisonment for what don't nobody know. He is highly unlikely going to end up in prison because of the protection that American presidents tend to get under the Secret Service. Nonetheless, this whole activity has been motioned by God to make sure that Donald Trump wins indeed the next election and so fulfill the prophecies of all of his Christians who prophesied he was going to win the past election. I was among them. God showed me that he would win it but he didn't god was saying that he will do a second term just not yet he has to cause somebody else to exhaust the american population until they realize they were wrong about trump when then trump comes back what that's gonna do is set free the rest of the world from american decisions made against the better judgment of the u.s i'm gonna get trump upon announcing that they're gonna arrest him in the next coming days or whatever yeah cause elon musk to say that this is just going to make donald trump win the next election by a landslide so hint hint nudge nudge democratic party if you don't want that to be in your backyard you're gonna do better by donald trump don't give him the clout he is in dire need of to win this next election joe biden has already messed up quite significantly mm. well donald trump appears to be headed to being the next president of the u.s so all those christians who prophesied and predicted historically that he's going to win the election weren't wrong it's just that he wasn't gonna win it yet he first had to humiliate joe biden Biden and then become the president when he does become that president a lot of us across the world suffering from the global elite that are working through the american social woke agenda mm, we're gonna get set free to watch it